Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and we're back doing a video, obviously, and I promised last Friday, when I did the uh, last card, that I would show you my Misty, and in case you haven't seen or heard about these things, there are Misty's, that's M-I-S-I-T-I, -I, I believe, out. And the object is the fact that it helps you with your layout so that you, if you goof or you want something in a specific spot. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this. And this is a Misty, my version of it, which is the cheaper version. I've seen them anywhere from $50 on up. They're fancier. They uh, work great if you're doing large scrapbooking. But if you're just doing the cards or small projects like these, this works out fine. So, I'm going to show you what all it entails, but it's in a case like this. So it's a CD case. It has 3 millimeter foam, which is what is underneath. It has a grid, and these all came out of the scrapbook store. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them, so I'm sorry, Stampin' Up! But it has saved me different times. And you cut it down to fit in your box. Okay? Now, what you're wondering is what's so special about it. Okay. You fit it in. Now, I've cut this a little bit smaller. And it doesn't matter your size. You can do a smaller one and lay it in here. The grid here shows five and a half by four and a fourth. Okay, and I happen to have cut this one a little differently. I'm going to show you two things. I've got a little bunny rabbit here. And I'm going to set him where I want him. Right on here. Okay. And let's see, get this right. I want him just like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to press down. He's going to connect right there. Now what I'm going to do if I quit dropping ink pads today, I've had the dropsies. I'm just going to press down, ink up. If I get it on here, on my container, I can just wipe it with a paper towel or a baby wipe. Okay. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to bring it over, and I'm going to press down right like this. I'm going to press up, and there you have him. Now, let's say he didn't ink quite as well as I wanted him to ink. So, I go back, re-ink, re-ink. I see to it's in the same spot. I bring it over. I press down, and he's done. Now, the, mine slit. Usually, what I do is do a little sketch tape. So, let's do this one more time. Only I'm going to grab some sketch tape for this. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to just do a little tape in the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to ink up. I'm going to ink up. I'm going to bring him over. I'm going to press him down. I'm going to raise up. He should have stayed in the same spot. Because I have done that. Now I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it down. And there he goes. You have him ink twice. That way if you goof on the ink. The other thing is remember how we've got the branches with the trees. Let's say I want a bird on it like I did in that one video on Friday. Or I should say card on Friday. And I want the bird on a particular branch. With this I can get him on the branch. I can get him right where I want him. Okay, now I'm going to take this off. And we're not going to worry about this thing because I'm not worried about it. Other than the fact I don't need the rubber. Now you're saying, okay, and by the rubber it sticks. It's got a little sticky on it. I'm taking the rubber out. I'm putting this back in. This is sticky. I'm putting it back in. I'm putting it down firm. I'm putting this back on. Okay. 
Now I have a thank you. And I think I got to go in the right direction. And I want the thank you to be right here. Okay? So now I'm going to go with this. Now this is because it's got the rubber. You don't need the patty. So now I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to ink it. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to bring it down. And now I've got this in the exact spot that I want it to be. So this is my Misty. It cost me less than $8. Time I ordered shipping to get the foam padding. This packaging right here. Time I got this packaging. The foam here. And I already had one of these cases. I have several of them. So that made it easy and I just cut it to fit. Okay, if you have any questions, email me at Pamela at Stampin' Pink Rose or check out my blog site, the Stampin' Pink Rose.com, where ideas, stamping ideas are always in bloom. Have a great day, and I hope this helped you out on an idea to make your stamping more pleasurable. Take care.